Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the flanger, phaser, and chorus. Uh, we're going to start out with a saw wave. And because that has, you know, a lot of harmonics and we can see what's going on. Uh, and we're going to be activating the flanger, phaser, and chorus. Now let's turn these all off and then turn the mix down. And we're going to start with the flanger. So what happens with the flanger is the audio is duplicated, delayed slightly, and then put back together. Uh, and that's what it sounds like with the rate off. The rate um, basically changes the amount of how it's delayed a little bit. So that's how you get the flanger effect. So we have the rate down, which is a useful thing I'll get into later. Here we have delayed signal happening there. We can increase the rate and we'll get that flanger effect that Our depth, which is the amount, the feedback, which is how crazy it sounds, and the phase of uh, the delayed signal. And we have our mix here, and that's basically the flanger. The phaser is somewhat similar. Um, what it does is it, it takes, still copies the sound, but then it phase shifts it. Um, so you get like a different kind of effect. Things get canceled out more. Okay, so the peaks and valleys, where the where the valleys are, that's when things are being canceled out, and the peaks is when things are, you know, stacked up. Um, you have your depth. And you have your frequency focus. And your feedback and the phase, 180, 0, or 360. A really cool thing about the phaser, and you know all of these, is you can set the rate to 0, so it's not moving at all. And from there, you can you know, add some really cool like bass sounds, electro bass sounds. Adding like harmonics, basically comb filter. Um, and from there, you can add like, say, distortion to beef it up a bit. still a wide signal. If you have the phase down to zero, they're both the left, or like not the left and right. The duplicated signal is uh, uh, stacked up. It's not out of phase. I forgot to mention that. You can adjust the feedback to get more of a, of a bite. So, what I really enjoy is mixing the phaser with the zero rate and driving that into distortion. Anyway, that's just me getting my jellies off. Chorus. Chorus, uh, it splits the signal left and right. Uh, and there's two channels on the left, two channels on the right. And it makes a really nice, delays it, of course. Um, it is very similar to uh, the flange uh, technique, um, but it, 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 it modulates the pitch, not the phase. So you get a really, you know, you essentially get a pseudo unison. And you have a, a low pass filter, which, you know, you make it sound more warm or whatever. Right, you can hear. You can hear like it not kind of like all the voices kind of not stopping at the same time, and that's because there's a bunch of delays going on. Uh, you can have a zero millisecond delay and say an eleven or a ten. Effectively, the has effect maybe maybe right, giving it a wideness. You can have the the, the rate at zero as with all of them. I like to have the rate because that's, you know, that's chorus. Oops. You can 
that feedback makes it a bit more intense. The uh, the the feedback and the low pass filter. And it makes it fifty percent. And that's you know, class like like Juno, like a Juno chorus or like a retro kind of chorus. Anyway, that is the flanger phaser in chorus. Um, the chorus sounds really nice with the reverb. Makes it sound bigger, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, um, hope you learn stuff. Take care, and we'll be back. And